Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to another vlog from the Veg Grower Podcast. Hope you're all well. Today, I'm down on the allotment. I've brought down some of my spare tomato and aubergine plants to get them in the greenhouse and give me a bit more space at home. It's quite hot in here, actually. It's quite, it's very hot in here, so I don't think I'll be doing much inside this greenhouse. Instead, I'm going to go, well, instead, I've got a couple of things I want to show you which I think are worth noting. Let's go have a look. Well, over here at my garlic bed, I've noticed some of my garlic is starting to suffer from leek rust, which is these little red spots, I guess, on the leaves. I get it every year and there's no actual treatment available for it anymore. So instead, all I have to do is just rip off the infected leaves and burn those. And it's always worth going around every single garlic and just check every single one in case there's any more that has it. It's one of these jobs, it can take quite a while, but it minimises the risk of leek rust. Now leek rust itself is not a, a massive problem. It doesn't look very attractive and it may stunt the actual growth of the garlic or even the leek. But on a whole, I find it doesn't cause myself that much of a problem. But it is worth just trying to get on top of it and removing as much as I can possibly see in order to stop it getting any worse. So that's how many leaves I've removed today, which I'll take home and we'll burn them so we don't spread this disease. Now I'm going to take you over to my asparagus bed because I've got some great news to show you over there. Right, well, my asparagus bed. I absolutely love asparagus. I've probably said many, many times before. But what I have noticed today, I've got this one stem which is basically ready. There's a couple more stems that will be ready in the next few days, which means asparagus will start coming in thick and fast. Great, because I love it. It's tasty. It takes a long time to get going, but it's ready. But this stem, it may be wonky. It may not be perfectly straight, but being the first stem, it is going to taste the best. So I'm going to take this home and have that in part of my tea tonight. Now, to harvest asparagus, I simply just take a knife and cut just above ground level. And that'll release the stem like so. And uh, that's as easy as it is to harvest asparagus. This bed is um, its quite a weedy bed. I was in too much of a rush to get asparagus planted when I took this allotment on, which I should have held back a bit, but it's producing asparagus, that's the main thing. Now I'm gonna take this home, as I've said. Which basically brings me to the end of today's video. I hope it's been of use to you, but please take care. And if you've been busy in your own garden, then leave a comment below and tell me what you've been up to yourself. But please take care and I'll see you again next time.